this is my friend Josh. One day he comes up to me and said he wants to start doing this thing called the moto vlogging. So this is my first GoPro video using a real setup with a helmet, with a mic in the helmet. So it's got a little Harley 48. It's actually a pretty cool little bike. Years later, I saw this Casey Neistat video. I'm just holding this thing still. Casey. Hey! And like that spin around so you can see that guy. I did that in the app after I recorded this. So that's the image. That's the image as it was shot there. But then in their software, you can navigate what the camera is pointing at. After watching that video, all I could think of is the 360 camera would be perfect for moto vlogging. Then sometime in 2020, I was scrolling around and I found a channel called Ride the Food. Stacy was one of the first people I've ever seen use a 360 camera in not a cliche way. Ride the Food became one of my favorite channels, and I, it's what I wanted to do with my channel. I was lucky enough to have a few conversations with Stacy, one of which being 360 cameras, and so I bought one. So yeah, uh, I bought a GoPro Max. Uh, that's not the Max, actually. This is a uh, this is my old Fusion that they uh, stopped supporting. GoPro no longer supports the Fusion, so I have a brand new Fusion that. I can do like literally nothing with because the software to download all the footage doesn't exist or work anymore. Since we're talking about the software to see some of these videos, I believe there's a lot of things that people need to know first before they go out and buy a 360 camera. There's things that like, it, it's not the easiest thing. One of the things I've heard a lot of people say at times is that the, the workflow on 360 cameras is, is difficult and it really is. I've heard it more from the Insta360 crowd, but I don't think most of those people have ever used the GoPro app. It's exactly the same. You do exactly the same kind of exporting. The thing is that these are proprietary uh, Kodaks, so you have to have their software to use it. And it really sucks when they kind of just decide like, oh, by the way, this doesn't work anymore. Sorry about your luck. But the file sizes at times can get really, really massive. If you want to maintain the best quality possible in some of these uh, 360 videos, you have to use like the best quality possible that these uh, programs will allow you to use. And sometimes those programs just make these absolutely massive files. If you watch some of my other videos that I made recently, uh, when I uh, did a 360 video for going through the pig trail and million dollar highway, like some of those videos were a terabyte and a half and I had to go buy a, a new hard drive just so I could make those videos. And the file size is a problem. Um, and then you have these weird things where it's like stitching, where like they put the two pictures together. Sometimes it'll look really bad. Sometimes it'll look really good. It's, Sometimes it depends on just the quality of the video and what settings you have, and you can do things about that. One of the great things about 360 video is that you can just place it in a new orientation, but at the same time, like, if, you, if you're looking at it down the side, you're gonna see a stitch mark going down your face. So I always try to at least angle it in a way where the stitch mark would not be on me or in anything that might look good. And sometimes the sharpness in the videos are just not absolutely the best, but the thing is this. So I have my GoPro Max and I was slightly disappointed at times when it came to certain things about it. The, the GoPro app that you have to use to render the files is just, it's so bare bones in a good way, but sometimes it's bare bones in a bad way where there's just like literally nothing else you can do. All you, all you can really do is like cut, turn the camera and export. That's all it really does. And that's all you really need it to do. But sometimes it just, Sometimes you just wish a little bit more, you know? So I really wanted to compare the GoPro Max with the Insta360 X2. Uh, I was lucky enough that Insta360 did send me this camera. I was really curious about things because other research that I've done and other videos I've watched on the 360 or on the Insta360 X has better quality video, some people say, and other things. So like, I really wanted to try it myself. If I'm being completely honest, I really do love the Insta360 X2. It, it just has so many features. Uh, between the frame rates and resolution, the X2 actually has more of it than the GoPro Max does, I was kind of surprised at how little both of them have. When you're using it in normal GoPro mode, it only has, it only goes up to like 1440, which I found weird when most GoPros are going up to five or 6K at this point. So just having more resolution and more frame rates on the X2 just makes it so much better. It's slow motion really isn't a necessity, but it's always nice to have when you really want to use it. Like I do dumb things with my dog and, and the, and the great thing about 360 cameras is that you just don't miss the shot. You just leave it there and you go and you do what you got to do. And it's going to catch the shot because you can move the frame. It's so much better. It's just like one of the, and that's why I think it's really great for moto cycles and moto vlog. And it's like, you, you don't have to worry about where you're framing and where your helmet is or where you just stick it on your handlebars, go about your ride. You have a good time and you don't have to worry about it. And just, it's so much better. It, 
that's why I've been using it so much over the last six months. So again, when you buy the GoPro Max, it, you kind of you kind of get a camera and a box, and that's the end of it. It's just like here's your camera, figure it out, have fun. Uh, one of the things that I absolutely really do love about the Insta360 is quite honestly their app. Their app uh, their app is just so powerful. It's just so many things to it. Um, it actually has tracking, so you can track in 360. It's great, and you can do it on your phone. Ow. If you're doing very track heavy things on your phone, your, the app does have a tendency to crash and get a little buggy, but on your computer, it works perfectly fine. And I can just like, I can just set down the camera, let it go and have Deedles running around like an idiot chasing around bubbles. I can track her, it's fantastic. It's, it, it's freaking great. It makes life so much easier and better. I do love the fact that the Insta360 app also, it just, it just has all these ideas. It teaches you how to use the camera, it gives you ideas how to use the camera. And there's all these little tutorials and things don't like the fact that it only tracks humans and not pets because she's my she's my test subject but just between the fact that this is such a solid camera and it works so well i just love everything that goes along with it i love the fact that they actually support motorcyclists and it's not and it's something that gopro just really doesn't do like they make motorcycle packs that come with you know different ideas and ways to mount this camera and they're really trying to get you to use it as much as possible and have a, a user-friendly interface and they want you to do it and they, and they give you these ideas and they give you all these other ways of doing it. I just think it's a great freaking product and I love it. And I feel like this is starting to sound like a sales pitch and it kind of is to be completely honest. But the thing is this, it's, I'm pretty poor and I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, I, there's certain things that look like I'm doing very well and the reason is because I want you to think that honestly. Um, like, you know, like new cameras, new toys at the same time, all that is uh, reinvestment into this channel. There's two things that I really hate wasting. It's my time and my money. And if I can sit here and I can give you an idea of what you should spend your money on is what I wish I could find more honestly. After we're using the GoPro Max and the 360 X2, I would really honestly recommend the X2. It just feels so much user friendly. It feels like an absolutely solid thing. I haven't been able to use it as extensively as I have with my GoPro Max, mainly because uh, little grandma over here and all of her health issues has been making it difficult for me to go out and do other things but there's just so many features when it comes to the x2 that i think that if you're gonna buy a camera it's the best one and and i feel like the big most people's biggest complaints when it comes to anything like this it's the price and i understand that 450 dollars is a lot of money 450 dollars is what you pay for almost any camera that you can use functionally and if you're only going to buy one camera I, this does everything that you need it to it seems like if you can have something that does everything that you need it to, why the hell not, right? I really want to say thank you to Insta360 for sending me the X2. This is going to be my new daily driver 360 camera. In fact, it might even just be the only camera that I carry. Uh, one of the things I absolutely love about Insta360 is all of their little accoutrements, like, the, like their little mounting points and like this, this selfie stick is just like one of the best ones out there. I'm, I'm sorry, I love it. The, the freaking GoPro ones are just fat and doesn't fit like the way this fits in the backpack it fits in your pocket it's not bulky like i absolutely love the camera itself but one of the things i really love about insta360 at this point is everything else so like i said they have a motorcycle kit they give you ways to mount it on your helmet the kit comes with a friction clamp so you can just clamp it anywhere on your motorcycle and get all these awesome different angles um again like gopro doesn't make this they don't make extensions this long or whatever and it's solid it's metal like it's something that you can just like stick on the back or stick on the side and it'll stay out and it's not like too many friction points not so many connections that you have to like worry about how tight you did it and it's going to flop over it's just one bar so just to sum everything up their app is amazing their camera is amazing their little products are amazing so if you are considering buying the x2 make sure you hit the link in the description this way they'll throw in a free motorcycle mounting kit and a selfie stick well folks that's gonna be the end of this video you know how this works do not forget to like this video do not forget to subscribe and as always Catch on the flip side.